Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, Kaiserreich as Austria. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So it's uh, April 37, the second Ashlik, that's definitely not what it's called, what is it actually called? The, um, no, maybe it is called the Ashlik. That's like, it, it's on its way. Um, so very, very soon, invite others to the Ashlik. The Ashlik has always been conducted as a meeting of the Austrian and Hungarian elite. However, we have more. Po I've had politicians from Bohemia, Galicia, and Lidari petition for more open, multi-ethnic uh, negotiations here. With delegations from all constituents of the Empire present. Also, gathering delegates from all of austro hungarys corners might help mediate some of the internal tensions that have been going on since the Vilt Creek has ended. Yeah, invite everybody. It's going to cause 100 political power, but yeah, we want to get everybody. The reason we want to get everybody is because Hungary is going to hate it. Okay, delegations arrive. Hungary has a uh, tendency in renegotiations. Well, there is some doubt whether Hungary would be willing to sort out the dramatic difference between two halves of the empire. They have agreed. And despite the fear that Hungary would not take kindly to us having invited other delegations side there to negotiations, they arrived in Vienna yesterday among the delegations from Bohemia, Galicia, and Illyria. While this year's Ashleg renegotiations are attended by politicians and thinkers from all the empire, the Hungarians remain at the center since their problems are the most important to solve. The festivities last long into the night. Okay, well, we get plus 10 political power back. That's not too bad. But I was thinking about this between... Well, you know what? Let, let's... Okay, Galicia Lidermi has agreed to attend. Bohemia is going to attend. Leader is going to attend. Hungary protests against the other delegations. So, okay, we, they're not happy with it, though. On the first day of negotiation, speeches were held. One Hungarian politician was, has delivered the following. We are not to be proud of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. For decades now, the man in Vienna has strived to reform was already perfect. I believe that Austria and Hungary together have a part to play in the future of the world. Together, we should make Austro-Hungary great again. While his compatriot is rigidly disturbed by the implication that Kaiser uh, Karl's federaliz federalization politics were a mistake, he himself seems rather pleased despite the absence of applause. Yeah, remove him from the negotiations. But I was thinking about this. Is once we, like, unify um, Austria... If you are social conservatives, we're not going to be doing it this uh, playthrough, but if you go down the social conservative route, you form the United States of Greater Austria. And I feel like if I was Czech or Slovakian, you know, Croatian, Slovenian, Bosniak, Hungarian, Romanian, whatever many, many ethnicities are in the Austro-Hungarian Empire there are, I feel like I'd rather be part of a country called, like, the Austro-Hungarian Empire than being known as just a part of Austria. Maybe I'm mistaken on that. I guess, I don't know. Am I, am I thinking about the strong way? Either way. We're going we're gonna to go towards Hungary soon. Assuming again that they... Okay, Hungary demands reparations. As anticipated, the Hungarian delegation once again uh, demand compensation for the loss of territories of Croatia and Slovenia. Uh, they were vassalage under the Hungarian crown in 1925, once the territories were occupied by the revolution of the Southern Slavs, which ended with the cessation of lands in the 1926 to the newly reformed Kingdom of Illyria. Hungarian delegations still claim the land of their own, but acknowledge that having them under Hungarian control again is impossible. Therefore, like in 1927, they demand a hefty sum of money to be transferred to their treasury. Um, offer to pay them from our own coffers. The debt should be paid by the Illyrians. You know what? That's why you pay less tax. Nothing really just says shut up and uh, deal with it. Bohemian pros of the Slovak state. In the vain discussions on the day before, the Bohemian delegation brings up the issue of the Slovakian people living under direct rule of the Hungarian crown, without any special rights or autonomy. The Slovak people have been a victim of the ongoing po a policy of Magyarization. The Bohemian delegation was the creation of an autonomous state for the Slovak people as a solution to free brothers from the Magyar yoke. <laughs> of course. Uh, it should be done and furthermore, include all the Slovak territory. Absolutely. Hungary's going to love that one. Um, what else? Polish people pro uh, propose a Polish protectorate. Third prominent members of the Polish delegation endorse a more active stance in their back, uh, relationship with Poland. Poland was left to be in the Trudeau's fear after the war. The Galicians still see Poland as their homeland, now suppressed by Prussian rule. They wish for us to liberate their compatriots. Poland is not yet lost. Are they in the Reich's Pact? Well, they're market liberals, so they can actually, I think, still join up with the uh, Russians at, at some point, if I'm not mistaken. Galicia demands Transcarpathia. Joining in the recent trend of demanding Hungarian lands, the Ruthenian delegation demands that their borders uh, across the Carpathians are not even recognized by the Hungarian government. We'll give them some land, absolutely. 
I mean, again, a hungry can technically agree to this. I'm hoping that they don't. Illyria demands the Baka. Joining in in a recent trend of manic Hungarian land, Illyria 2 now demands cessation to the Baka territory. While it is home to many Illyrians, claimed, uh, claiming to strip a land in the southernmost region of Hungary is rather audacious move by the uh, Illyrian delegation. Especially since uh, that Hungary has not yet formally recognized the southern Slovak state. Yeah, they can control the entire basin. Which I think includes West Banat. They can, they can have all this territory. The Romanians demand an autonomous Transylvania. While Transylvania holds some recognition by Hungary, it has no means under near the level of Sithanian uh, states enjoy. The Romanian delegation puts a word uh, for there being the same level of states of Austria's half. And it shall include Patrim and Banat. I mean, Hungary can't say yes to this, right? Wait, they agree to it? Well, they can they complete this. Despite Hungary's early departure, the Austrian came to an end yesterday, and the rest of the delegations went home. So that completes you. Could have gone better, but also worse. Wait, did they did they agree to it? No. Well, the, okay, nothing's happened yet. I can't imagine that they would uh, that they would agree to this. I mean, I wouldn't agree to this if I was Hungary. Uh, you know, let's go 30, uh, 37, um, resource rate as well. Slovakia remaining demonstrations put down Hungary. At the start of the week, peaceful demonstrations in support of Vienna in several cities in Slovakia and Transylvania ended up with Hungarian police violently disrupting the crowd. However, this only played into the narrative of resistance is pushing, and now Slovak remaining leaders ask their government to mediate the dispute. Agree. Hungary should move its forces from the disputed territories. Okay, Hungary? Again, you're not going to agree with this. That, that would be ridiculous. Um, railway, res you don't give me a research slot. It actually moves up to five, which is very, very good. It's actually, it's about the most you can get. I think maybe some countries have um, six, but five is really about the maximum you normally would get. Hungary, the Clyde Ultimate, refused to delete the departed territories. You know what this means, don't you? I like how you just say it like, eh, whatever. Okay. Well, it is time for the war against Hungary. Our army is going to immediately push in as aggressively as they possibly can. Germany will give us some port. Thank you very much. Let's see if we can just get his tank driver away straight over to Budapest. Uh, we'll get these guys move their way down towards Pex. Move their way to the entirety of the border region over here. And again, just kind of be as aggressive as you possibly can. I don't want the Hungarians to really last too long. The faster we win this war, the quicker we can pass um, Embrace Pluralism. Yeah, so go here and then go away to Budapest. They have a 39 stack here. Nothing too, too crazy. Our Air Force, yeah, it is completely going to be uh, dominating Hungarian skies. So we don't have to worry about them too, too much. Look at Visor. Research. I mean, I'm kind of looking at military uh, construction speed. Cap growth plus 10%. You know what? Yeah. And, and it's a little bit of research bonus as well. Let's get you going. Where do we have any supply hubs? Got supply hub in Budapest. That's really about it. And the rest of our allies are doing a pretty bang up job, I would say. Bring you over here to support our troops in Budapest. Who, who won this war? I mean, CNT or Carlos Spain, it kind of still seems like it, it could go either way down there. Of course, we would prefer the Carlos to win. They would open up a second front against the Internationale. Because Carlos Spain, no matter what, has to join the Entente. Well, they don't have to. I guess they just never take the focus. But eventually, they will always join the Entente. Unlike the Kingdom of Spain, which can remain neutral. Bring all of our forces in here. Budapest, if anybody one cavalry. River crossing minus 60. Low supply terrain. Okay, I'm getting you have a lot of negative penalties. I understand that. Hey, you're at 99. Yeah, keep pushing your way. Actually, push away here. Commune of wait, Commune of France just saying a war? Oh, they're probably um demanding upper Savoy. So we don't actually need to worry about that. The Venetian Revolt? I mean, I would love to support Venice against the ANI. Because the ANI, of course, is very anti, uh, 
anti-us. Let, let's just put it that way. The Venetian Revolt. It appears that the experiment of, of the Italian Republic is truly over. With the AI and I having won the Italian election, they've attempted to turn a nation into a unitary republic, stripping it, uh, the composite states of their rights. And now Venezia has rebelled against them. Venezia has called for help, though we must wait at least a few months before we can directly intervene without it appearing like we are interested only in conquest. If we do intervene, many within the Austrian government are suggesting that we do uh, that only our interest would be in restoring the old Italian Federation, this time under a Habsburg ruler. Indeed, the Italians are so fed up with the failure of democracy, they might welcome such an option with open arms. Wait, so why can I intervene? Well, who's... Okay, first, who's winning the American Civil War? Ah, let's not send guns to anybody over there. Is there actually a time frame when I can intervene in Venice? I've never seen the Austrians do it. But I guess it is theoretically possible. Bring you guys straight over to Ordea. When did this war break out? Revolution in the Philippines. I don't know because it didn't generate any world tension, so it actually doesn't tell us. But again, like Hungary, they're not going to last too long. You're worth five victory points. You're worth three. How many Red Army troops are there? There's 13. Okay, we actually don't have that many soldiers. We could train a lot more. And we have some rifles. So yeah, let's get at least a handful. Let's, let's just say 10 for now. Uh, reinforcements, though, should be top priority. We'll get a handful of units ready to go. You are now going to go at 29%. Move some units over here. You're worth 2. You're worth 5. Why don't you stay here? Move your units in. We can probably, st yeah, stretch Red Army a little bit like this. That should be good for us. And you know what? Right now, it's more rifles. I know it's a little bit boring. But I think more rifle production would be absolutely A-OK. -okay. You're at 55, 75 on you. I'm going to bring you over here. Support this army. I want you going to Arad. That's your supply hub. You're actually worth five victory points. It's actually it's way more than I was expecting. So we could get our own research group. Armor bonus. Infrastructure. Three civilian factories is pretty good. 120 political power. I mean, Greece actually likes us. I'm assuming this is because we have not... Um, because we haven't uh, blockaded them. Yeah, so take this city. Hungary is now down to 25%. Because again, you're worth two, you're worth five. Can I move you around like this? Will that work out well for me? How many victory points are you worth one victory point? You over here are worth two. Let's see if you can maybe make some progress over there. And now uh, we do have somebody to recognize in the Fedian garment. Which means that they'll, they might end up aligning with Japan some point in the future. Something that we... Of course, again, the Reich's Pact is nominally anti-Japanese. So that is something that we do have to kind of think about. Okay, Mongolia is declared war. That is completely A-OK. -okay. Only, you know what? 15,000 men dead. This is actually a completely reasonable war. Yeah, you know what? That actually went swimmingly. I'm going to take all of your states, please, and thank you. Confirm an exit. How many more days until you're done? Six. Do I want to wait 16 days to get further down this tree? I mean, here's the thing. We have about roughly two or maybe three years until the second Ville Creek actually breaks out. We should have the time. I'm going to try to send... How many units can I send to Venice? We can send one division. How much defense do you have? Defense of 62. Def okay, 207. So I'm going to send one division with very strong defense. I'm going to send you to Venice. With the hope that as long as we can defend Venice long enough... 
maybe we can intervene? I, I don't know, though. Yeah, just defend Venice. I mean, actually, if you can kill off... Yeah, all the troops in Forelli. I think Venice has a decent chance of actually surviving for quite a while. When will my, when will my units get here? They will get there on the 11th, so in a few days. A ground army, we're going to send you over here. Red army, we're going to put you on the border with Serbia. Because for right now, we don't want uh, one big front line. Two small front lines work better for us. Yes, and your job is just defend Venice. Okay, you did kill this unit off. Yeah, and you just, you just hang on to Venice for as long as you need to. Because I can invade the National Republic, set up the Italian Federation. Oh, mwah. It, it'll be grand. Got 16 days on you. Military staff, anybody good? Again, we have the genius. Oh, uh, again, I, yeah, I kind of want him. Just so we can move our units incredibly quickly. How many trucks do we have? 604. That should be enough. Well, is that enough for you to have all trucks? 80. Actually, I think we have enough for probably to put trucks on everybody. Absolutely not. What was like one level of trucks? You require 400? It's probably, I guess it's probably based on... Yeah, because you're only in a single supply hub. This army is split up between like five or six. Yeah, so they need a lot more. Okay, so I guess it's 80 trucks per... Well, God damn it. So it's 80 trucks per supply hub. You know what? I actually did not know that. Okay, so Rainbow Gative ended hostilities, so they won the war. Not a huge surprise. I mean, 42 days. We don't have enough world tension yet. We need 60%. What are we at? Like 33-ish? Yeah, exactly 33. But at some point, having Greece, Bulgaria, and Albania in my alliance, use them as a counterbalance towards Serbia and Romania, because they'll probably both end up joining the Reichs or the Moscow Accord. Now, never mind, they've immediately had legionaries. International populist. Bulgaria is fully independent on a faction. Ruling party is not totally syndicalist or radical socialist. Has completed Greater Bul uh, Bulgaria. Um, Greater Bulgaria memorials. One of the following are placed in Europe. Author is not authoritarian democrat. It's not. So they have to complete our place in Europe. Where, where is that? I can't spell Europe, by the way. Has completed our place. Okay. Our role in the Viltkrieg. So I guess they can... That's, that's only if they win, though. They can have an alliance with Russia. They can join the Reich's Pact. So maybe they actually they can't join us? Can't take you because we don't have Austro Dolomer. But are you the exact same? No, no, you're actually slightly better. Has completed Austral Dharma, which is... You. I mean, you are a pretty good, um... 15%'s not bad. Maybe you can get, like, a rifle bonus. Soft attack, production cost. You know what? That's pretty good. Uh, when is our next rifle? It's in 39, I believe. Yeah, so you can actually begin researching that pretty soon. Do I have naval invasion tech? I do. Okay. Always important to check that. I mean, what do I want research? You know what? 38 research. Sounds good to me. But with the uh, with putting down the Hungarian revolt, I think this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. Thank you everybody for watching. With the answer, if you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Nadja, you can always thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.